two, one, go. Autonomous kicks off. We've got three cubes getting scored for the Blue Alliance. Two cubes and a cone over on red. Advantage Blue when it comes to where those game pieces are located. Two up top, one on the floor for red. Two up top, one in the middle for blue. Docked and engaged on both sides of the field. And as we said, that one point advantage on the board, that's all because of that cube rather being placed in the middle row as opposed to the bottom row, which is what the Red Alliance pulled off in Autonomous. Drivers in control here working on establishing their first link, but a hang up in the center of the field. Makeshift robotics for the Red Alliance gets a little bit hung up on a collision. They tip on over, still in control of their robot, despite their wheels not being on the floor. They might be able to use their manipulator to right themselves. We do see them at least trying it for their Red Alliance team. Playing down a robot for the majority of a match will be difficult for the Red Alliance. Cybertooth from Kokomo, they move on in with a cube in their possession, reaching up top. That's going to be placed right in front of the makeshift drive team. Makeshift still working on getting their robot back in action if they can. Team Dave for the Red Alliance swerving on into their loading zone, grabbing a cone quickly, a nudge from WBI as they rotate themselves into their loading zone alongside Bedford Express, their alliance partner. Roa Braz Blazers extend their arm up. They're going to grab a cone on from a human player, making their way out of their loading zone, cycling back into the Blue Alliance community. Blue Alliance leads here 93 to 88 in the final minute of qualification match number 46. The Blue Alliance has scored three links. Red Alliance with three links. They will only need five in order to pick up that sustainability bonus. Red is still in it here, and WBI not moving for the moment. This is an opportunity for the Red Alliance to try to recover the few points that they are trailing here. WBI still sitting very close to that Red Alliance loading zone. Cybertooth and their alliance partner, Dave, they are both getting game pieces from those human players via the substations. Dave with that cone, they're gonna race back 20 seconds left. Cybertooth looks like they're gonna hang out on the charge station for the Blue Alliance. A few more game pieces get placed. That's going to stretch their lead up to 10 with 10 seconds remaining. And three Blue Alliance robots docked and engaged for 30 points for the Blue Alliance. Cybertooth and Dave going to add up 20 for the Red Alliance. Those results live for you now. The winner is the Blue Alliance. 152 to 130 in match 46 in favor of Blue. They earn four ranking points. Red Alliance does earn one ranking point for the charge station activation bonus.